Hello, this is Mr. Chernov and I'm going to show you how to do some of the questions on circuits. First of all, you need to know four rules for circuits. First of all, one, in a series circuit the current is the same everywhere. So let's look at this series circuit. The current in this wire is 2 amps the current in this wire is also 2 amps and the current in this wire is also 2 amps. That means that the current in a series circuit is the same all the time. That means the current through the battery is 2 amps, the current through this lamp is 2 amps and the current through this lamp is also 2 amps. Now the voltage in a series circuit splits. So if the voltage on the battery is 9 volts, that means for example uh, it's not always the case. Um, 4 volts on this bulb, 4, 5 volts on this bulb. They can split in different proportions. But the idea that the total voltage on the components is equal to the voltage on the battery. Number 3. In a parallel circuit, the current splits. You can see that the current through this wire is equal to 3 amps. That means the current in this wire 2 amps and in this one 1 amp. 3 amps splits into 1 and 2. Now it can, sp it can split in different proportions, for example um, 1 and a half and 1 and a half. In this case it splits 2 and 1. Another rule is that the voltage in a parallel circuit is always equal. So the voltage on the battery has to equal the voltage on the lamp and the voltage on this lamp as well. That means that across all the components connected in parallel, the voltage will always be the same. Let's apply this rule to solve question 23.1 from Isaac Physics. So the first question is, what is the current at P and at Q? Well, we remember that uh, with the first rule, that the current in series is the same everywhere. Therefore, the, the, the answer would be simple. The current at Q the current at Q is uh, 2 uh, 3.0 amps so you would need to type in as the answer 3.0 amps and the current at P is also 3.0 amps. Let's look at the second circuit. So this is a parallel combination and uh, another resistor connected in series to the parallel pair. Well anyway, 3.5 amps here and we see that 2.0 amps go uh, into the top resistor. That means there has to be 1.5 amps going through the bottom resistor because at any junction the current will split. Let's look at the voltages. So the question is 23.2. There's 6 volts on the battery. There's 4 volts on the first resistor. The question is, what is the voltage across the second resistor? Well, we know that th we know the rule which says we know the rule that in a parallel in a parallel, uh, sorry, in a series circuit, the voltage splits. So if the voltage here is nine, it would be five and four. So going back, if this is six, this should be four, and of course two volts. Two point zero volts. So the answer would be two point zero volts. In this combination, we can see that these two resistors are connected in parallel. That means that the voltage on both of these resistors is the same, and it's equal to 4.0 volts. If this is 6 volts and this is 4 volts, that means this has to be 2.0 volts. The meaning of voltage is how much energy we gain or lose. So if in the battery we get 6 joules of energy, going through the first resistor we lose 4. It doesn't matter through which we go through, we in any way we lose 4 joules of energy. 
Once we lost 4 joules of energy, we have 2 joules of energy remaining and we lose this in this uh, second in the in, in the next resistor. So we lose 2 joules of energy and we go back into the battery carrying 0 joules of energy. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Thank you.